another day, another charity shop hunt. Hey, good morning guys and welcome back to the channel and it's a very frosty bright kind of morning today and yeah, I'm at Briley Hill this morning I'm going to go and look on the high street I'm going to go and check out any charity shops last time I've come here I didn't have no look at all probably not going to have look today but who knows I'm going to go and see if I can find some retro goodness I'm looking for classic kids TV shows at the minute um, so yeah, anything I can really get, really, Blu-rays. So we'll have a look, guys. We'll have a look and we'll see what we can find today. So let's hit the road. Okay, so it's not a charity shop to start with, it's Asda. Let's go. Boom, yes, they've got Donatello and Michelangelo from the Turtles. Bunko time, baby. Let it go, let it go. Hey, Sharky, let go of my finger. Spider-Man, wow, awesome. Yeah, they've got the Harry Potter DVDs with this packaging. I'm not a massive fan of this artwork, guys, to be honest. Yeah, we're over at the DVD and Blu-ray chart now, guys, and it looks like we've got no Venoms in stock in this store. But we have got Bond and Suicide Squad. Yeah, if you like the Rise of the Foot Soldier movies, this five movie collection is now rolled back to 15. Oh, not another craze movie. This one's called Cold of Silence and it's new, it's seven pound. Yeah, it wouldn't be a Jim Jam video without looking at the mugs and bowls and stuff. So we've got this lovely little Toy Story bowl here. And we've also got a cup mug as well. Oh, we was, were we? We were on a break. Friends mug, lovely. Oh, happy memories from last year. Kinder surprise. That one's for you, Mr. Bounty. Right then, let's get into my first child shop of today, Coms and Care. Really cool turtle figure. Awesome. Why do I never learn? I completely forgot Coms and Care stock, stock in media, DVDs, CDs now. Silly me. Right, let's try the furniture depot, guys. Right then, let's have a look at the media. So we've got some titles there. I think I fall for the pound in here. So we've got Blu-ray, what we got. The Lincoln Lawyer. They got some uh, Black Adder Ghost Wolf, the remastered edition. I seem to be finding this everywhere I go at the minute. The Goonies is absolute classic film. Why would anyone want to get rid of the Goonies? Of course, I've got it on Blu-ray or 4K. Yeah, not much on the DVDs, but let's go and take a look at the toys. And the first one I'm seeing is a nice Hulk smash. How much is he? Nice. Got Two pound. Two Batmans. Wow. Yeah, no DVDs or Blu-rays in there I wanted to grab today. A lot of common stuff, a lot of generic titles. But yeah, really great to see like cool toys in there like the Hulk. So yeah, let's carry on guys. Right, let's go, go, go. Right, while we're here we might as well take a little trip in to Disappointment Land. Yep, you could have guessed it guys. Nothing really good at all. Got Nanny McPhee there, it's not bad I suppose. Mum Mia, the usual suspects. Not the usual suspects, the usual. <laughs> Don't get too excited guys. You can work on your back and chest with Nancy Marat. Now we're talking guys, my favourite section. Sweets and chocolates and stuff. So we've got Reese's, Nutter Ages. We've got some Hershey's, King Size Cookie Bars, Everton Bars. In the sales section, there's Justice League mini chocolates, 50 pence. What the? They've got a chocolate gonk, reduced for 150. A chocolate gonk, flipping heck. Right, yeah, as expected, nothing new in there. I don't think Poundland are ever going to get anything new in now, guys. I think there's, they've had the day, to be honest. Then were the days when you went in each week and there'd be new boxes up on the shelf and new stuff to pick up. But yeah, I think those days are gone now, guys. So uh, I think Asda have took over the rights to Magpie now. I might be wrong, but there seem to be more like Magpie titles in um, Asda at the minute. So yeah, never mind. So let's carry on, guys, and go into the Bernardo's Donation Centre. So, as I've just walked in, I've just seen this massive bin here saying 10 for a pound on DVD, so I must have tons of them. So let's dig in and see what we can find. 
Yeah guys, I'm not kidding, this bin goes right the way down the DVD, so let's carry on digging. I've not really seen anything I want to grab so far, but let's carry on. Some Christmas Disney. I'll be back. I'm not sure where the piece is, but this looks like it's been signed by her. Access all areas. So it looks like a music DVD. Yeah, not seen much in there, but we're gonna go and pop in the store anyway, so let's mask up and go in. Looking through the DVDs, they've got this series by David Attenborough, it's Dynasties. I think they're 50 per, I believe, yeah. Total, all 10 for £2. They've got brand new uh, sealed acorn antiques. I don't need this because it's included in the Victoria box set I picked up the other week. Got some uh, animated Batman here, Mystery of the Batwoman, the all new feature length movie. Nice. Yeah, this is quite nice. This is the Creature Comforts complete first season, all 13 episodes. I think box sets are a pound now. It's quite nice. Loads of episodes on there. Now we're talking, guys, some classic Hong Kong Philly, volume two. Next shop of the day, Salvation Army. Yes, yeah, so we've got a uh, DVD for free for a pound. Not much, really. Yeah, no pickups from Salvation Army shop today. Never mind. Yeah, I always thought Briley Hill had like more charity shops, but I think a lot of them have closed down now, but never mind. Right, let's go in home bargains. Wow, so the first thing I'm spotting is these lovely plushies, these these Disney classics, and they're only 6 dollars each, so they've got Lady, Bumper, and Pluto. And it says they make a sound, so should we press them? They're awesome. See what Bumper does. And finally, let's see what Pluto does. Awesome. They do have some of the uh, Jurassic World Camp Caracious figures in here, including this giant stock and attack Tyrannosaurus Rex. And he's 39.99, and I think he should have been 52 pound. They also have this one, but I can't pronounce that. Ramphorn, oh, Ramphosaurus. <laughs> I don't know, but he's 8.99. And they've got the Keratosaurus, and he's 18.99. Right then, it's time for today's drink of choice, and I'm going to go for something a little bit different. I'm going to go for a Pepsi Max Lime. For some reason, the Pepsi Max Limes are like 59 pence on Starboy in Home Bargains. Right, I'm out of Home Bargains, and I'm going to try some of this Pepsi Max Lime for the first time. Never tried it before, so here we go, guys. Have a try. Yeah, not whoa. There is a lime hit there. There is definitely a lime hit there, guys. That is quite nice. It's actually quite a nice, uh, refreshing drink. And for 59 pence, what, a 1.25 litre bottle? Quite a good deal, I'd say. So now I'm just waiting at the bus stop, so basically I'm gonna go Merry Hill, I think. I think it's still quite early in the day, so I'm gonna get to Merry Hill. Uh, gonna go and have a look, see what's, uh, new out this week i don't think there's much out this week i believe adam's family 2 is out this week but we'll go and take a look guys come with me right then here we go guys here's the buzz take us to merry hill right we're off the buzz and the sun is brightly shining today so yeah let's go inside merry hill center which is behind me <laughs> and let's go and see what we can find today right our first shop of the day is Poundland. Yeah guys, you guessed it, same old stuff. Still a lot of Alan Cars. They uh, do have the Godzilla 1998 Matthew Broderick. Oh, I wonder what the surprise is. Yeah, not looking good in Poundland, guys. Yeah, walking past the window of CEX, it looks like there's some classic Mega Drive games, Toy Story and Terminator. Awesome. Eight quid's not a bad price for Terminator on Mega Drive. I have not got a clue what this is, but it's uh, Nina Forever. Ah, uh, beep, up fairy tale. If you've seen this, guys, leave down in the comments below. Never heard of it before. 
we got that lovely addition of Waterloo for £20 in CX with a nice book and uh, yeah, there's a J card. If you like your war films, they've got I Was Monty's Double for £10. They've got an uh, indicator release here, Young Winston from 1972. This is the limited edition Blu-ray. So yeah, some nice special features on that. This store has a copy of Venom for £12. Venom 2. Nice. No slip cover unfortunately. Come on guys, another cover reprint. They have the uh, DVD of the three original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies. One, two and three. Three fifty. Not bad. A reprint again. So this is uh, random episodes, the best of Leonardo. One fifty. The uh, animated Sabrina the Teenage Witch series. Yeah, I guess I do enjoy this show. This is the first three series of Motherland for £20. Very funny show. If you haven't seen this one, I recommend this one. Right, out uh, of CEX. No CEX pickups today, guys. Our next shop of the day, one below. Yeah, not much going on today. The movie's the same as last time, really. The same titles. Right, let's go in our second last of today. Yeah, we're on the DVD chart now, guys, and they have one copy of Venom on the shelf there, £10. And they do have this week's new release on DVD. They have four copies of Adam's Family 2. Unfortunately, no slips on these guys, but yeah, they've got them anyway, so it's nice to see. So there we go. I've not seen this one, I've seen the first one, but I might wait a little bit to see this one. Cool. Unfortunately, guys, the uh, the Blu-ray section is looking a bit bare. No venom, no no time to die. They've got what's that CD put in the wrong place? Shang Chi's there. Foot soldiers down to ten pound now. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Yeah, we still got the Magpie section, and the first thing I see is an absolutely amazing soundtrack to a film. This is the Train Spotting soundtrack for a pound. Yeah. I've I think the Blu-rays are pretty much the same as last time I come really, nothing's been added now. They do have screen form though, just in time for the new one comes out. Yeah, can't wait for this to get released on Blu-ray soon, Wayne's World. Right, just off the escalator guys, and I'm off to my next destination today, which is going to be HMP. Hi Nipper, let's go inside. Yeah, guys, if you're after the HMV premiums, they've now gone up in price to 25 Yeah, they've got the uh, the Blu-ray version of the Adams Family 2. Yeah, with a nice slip cover. £14.99. Yeah, they've got Terror Hawks here on DVD. £44.99, that is a bit steep, guys. Yeah, it looks like uh, HMV are doing screen. £4.99 with any purchase. And there's a little... Uh, a little scanner thing to watch a new trailer. Cool. They also have the uh, free movie collection for twelve ninety nine. Very nice. It looks like we've got a bit of a sale on the vintage titles. So we've got Summer Holiday with art cards nine ninety nine. Who remembers this one? Stardust with David Essex and Adam Faith and Larry Hagman. Also, that will be the day. Also, with David Essex, Rosemary Leach, and Ringo Starr. They also have the final cut of The Wicker Man, the three disc set for $9.99. Good deal on this. There you go, there's the back. Yeah, out of HMV, guys. Nothing I picked up in HMV today. But uh, yeah, really cool to those, um, those vintage classics with a few quid knocked off, 9 99 that's not a bad deal for some of those films. Uh, yes, I'm just walking down the stairs as we speak. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's time we're going to head back home now guys, because uh, yeah, I'm going to go and get the bus and uh, we're going to head back home. So uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Happy New Year to you, Bab. Right guys, I'm back home now from my day trip to Brightly Hill and Merry Hill. And yes, I only had one pickup today guys, unfortunately from Brightly Hill. And uh, this was from... 
Bernardo's, that was it. Because if you remember in the video, they had a bin outside of stuff, and I couldn't find nothing in there. There was 10 items in there for a pound, 10 DVDs for a pound, but I couldn't find 10 things at all. I couldn't find five, to be fair. So I decided to go inside the store and have a look, and the ones inside are 10 for two pound. For some reason, I don't know why. <clears throat> Maybe better titles or something, I don't know. But... um. As you all know, guys, at the minute I'm collecting a lot of retro kids' TV stuff from, like, the 70s, the 80s, and so forth. So, um, yeah, look, looking round and stuff, and uh, I, I saw a title that I was quite interested in. And I picked it up, checked the disc, and it was mint. And it's volume two of Hong Kong Fui. Yeah, Hanna-Barbera, this is from the 70s. And this is this has got a lot of episodes on, I think 13 episodes, I believe. So there was two volumes of this. I've still got to get volume one. But this is um, episode 17 to episode 31. And it runs for 170 minutes. And some classic, classic Hanna-Barbera cartoon there. So, uh, yeah, really looking forward to rechecking it Hong Kong through it. And that cost me 50p. So, yeah, not bad at all, not bad. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, that was all I picked up from Briley Hill. So I decided to go to Merry Hill and look around HMV, one below, Poundland. And yeah, didn't see anything I wanted to grab today. Didn't want to see one, anything I wanted to pick up. So I got the bus back into Dudley. And before I got the bus back home from Dudley, back to my house, I um, I decided to take a little look around a couple of charity shops. I thought, I'm here. I might as well just go and, go and have a little look anyway. So I went into Bernardo's, didn't see anything I wanted uh, to pick up on the DVDs and Blu-rays, but I had a little gander through the books. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I found something I wanted to grab. And it's this big book of Peaky Blinders. It's by order of the Peaky Blinders. It's not the latest edition that come out. This is the one that come out, the first edition, a couple of years ago this come out. But it was a pound. And yeah, there is some amazing pictures. I'm going to show you some of the some of the photographs inside. We've got some really nice photographs, and a lot of the backstory about how this series was made and stuff, and the history of it because it is based on a true story. So the writer Stephen Knight, it's stories he was told as a child, and yeah, it, it is. It does look a really good book. I've had a little flick through, but I'm going to uh, sit down and check it out properly. But yeah, for a pound, I thought it'd be nice. It'd be nice to have a look back and, yeah, like you say, some awesome pictures. So that's what I picked up from Bernardo's. Then I went into Mary Stevens Hospice. And now I know this, there's not much in there. And that's what I thought. But I went to the, uh, they call it the Media Bay there. So I went to the Media Bay and looked at all their um, their DVDs out on display. <laughs> And there were three DVDs that stuck out to me straight away. And that was just like away from the stack. So there was a stack of DVDs there. And they was just like underneath the stack. But like se separate. Like They would literally just been put there by the looks of it. So they caught my eye immediately. And I literally picked them up straight away. <laughs> and uh, I'll show you what they are. So these were four for the pound. And... Uh, it's uh, the Tomorrow People, so this is from the 70s, I believe. It's a little bit like sci-fi, like Doctor Who. I'm not, I'll be honest, I'm not too sure about what it is, but like the episodes, I believe the stories are broke up into like three or four different episodes. So that's what I'm led to believe on here, like, so we get the, uh, so we get some nice, the nice discs inside. So that was um, series two. And they also had Series 3. They didn't have Series 1, but I might pick it up in the future, but we never know. So we've got all the discs inside. Lovely. And we got... Now this seems a bit strange. We've got Series 6, we've got Series 7, and we've got Series 8. So they, they must have been only shorter ones or something. But yeah, we've got all the discs inside. The tray has come out a little bit, but... It's not a problem. But, um, yeah, very happy to pick these up. And something else that drawed me about this series, drawed me in, was like um, what it says at the bottom. It's got with early appearances from Chris Chittle 
from Emmerdale. If you don't know who Chris Chittle is, he's Eric Pollard in Emmerdale. If you watch Emmerdale. you got Bill Treacher, who was in EastEnders. Arthur Fowler, there we go. And Peter Duncan, who was a Blue Peter presenter. So that's in that one. And then in on another one, this drove me in as well. Peter Davison's in an early episode as well. And you've got Trevor Bannister, who's best known for Are You Being Served? And Keith Chegwin. Keith Chegwin's in an episode. But the one that drew me in the most was um, apparently Nicholas Lindhurst is in two episodes. So a, ve a very young Nick Nicholas Lindhurst is in this show. Also, um, you've got uh, Michael, Michael Sherd. You've got Burt Quark. Uh, yes, so you've got some great, great, great guest stars in this. Well, I thought for a quid, well, that's three things I picked up. I picked up one more to make up the four for the pound, but though I think these will look good in my uh, in my retro collection, which I'm building up. So, uh, yeah, so that's the tomorrow, people. And I, I needed one more thing to make the four for the pound deal. And I picked up this because it was brand new, factory sealed. And it is... <laughs> Creature Comforts, yeah, this is the, the first part of Series 2. Uh, I remember when this was on ITV in about 2004, 2005, something like that. And it was it was great. They're just like mini shorts and they're just... It's people's voices and they just like get them in like to talk like the uh, the plasticine animals. And yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. And these were um, originally... Uh, you can tell me in the comments down below. Um, was it British Gas or something? The uh, the electricity ads, MEB electricity ads or something. That's what they originally was on. And then it was a, an original short in about 1989 from memory. And uh, yes, yeah, so this could this come out? And uh, I remember I, I remember watching these. And so we've got like seven episodes on this disc, which is really nice. It's a nice. It's brand new sealed as well. It's got there from the makers of Wallace and Gromit and the Curse of the Wear Rabbit. So this must have come out when that was like at the cinema or something, I believe. But uh, yeah. So guys, that is all my pickups from today. I had more pickups than I thought I was going to show you today. Because I thought I was literally going to show you Hong Kong Fui. And that was all my pickups. But yeah. So guys, that is all my pickups from Briley Hill and Dudley today. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. And please, and please, 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 if you haven't subscribed to me already, please drop me a sub. And yeah, I'll see you all very soon in the next video. Bye, guys.